Hello everybody, Darren here, and welcome back to Anno 1800. Now in the last episode, I began delivering all of the needs of the farmer tier residents, including even the lifestyle needs. And the idea was, we progress our way up the residential tiers, satisfying everything that everyone needed. That way we could put a little bow on the end of the series and say we did it all, no one's left hungry. But, as many people in the comments had pointed out, that it would be best to work from the top down rather from the bottom up. What this means is that we need to start delivering all of the goods with our high tier of investors and then work our way down so as not to increase the demands over time. So in order to do that, I've had to finalize the layout of the City of Swords, and that is finally now complete. So, this is it. This is Swords, and this is where everything is going to go and where everything's going to stay. Now, some ornaments and stuff might change, but... In terms of the amount of houses for every tier of residence that we have, this is it. The island is now done. So on a recent stream of mine, I built up a new airport, I rearranged some of the investor houses, although not too much, and then I built out the new Chinatown district using the new Dragon Garden cosmetic pack. Now I thought it'd be cool to show this off just for a bit here at the beginning, then have you know a little bit of a look around and then get into the production of everything. So let's begin. So unfortunately, I didn't I tried to kind of do a time lapse, but it just wasn't really working out. For the most part, the only addition to the city, the main addition, would be that the airport has moved from its temporary placement over there to over here. Like I said, I did that on a stream, so you can actually see the whole thing getting made. It took like an hour. It was a bit ridiculous. Uh, granted, I was getting distracted and going back and forth with you guys in the comments and the chat and everything, which is awesome, but it meant that it just took even longer than it probably should have. The other bit that's kind of new is this area here. So these kind of houses here. This is really the only area that's changed in terms of adding new residences and their layout. So I think in total something like 20 extra investor residences have been added and I decided on a rule for this part of the city that everything had to be a high rise. This is sort of the original investor sort of hill if you want up by the World's Fair, the Capital Line Hill as I'm going to call it now. Um, so yeah, so these are all just standard tier investors, whereas these ones are using the High Life DLC, everyone had to have been upgraded at least once to be some sort of high rise. And then the idea, which we talked about many, many episodes ago, was that it would kind of like have a staggered raising up point all the way up to the, always forget the name of this, the Skyline Tower. So this way the city sort of builds up and up and up and up all the way up to the Skyline Tower and then it gradually falls down and down and down back down to here where we start with just a standard kind of tier 2 residence for investors. Hopefully that makes sense. So what what about this area? It's kind of up to interpretation on the stream. People said maybe a park, a little park going around the river. I think I'd like to do something like that. So we can always throw down some ornaments, try to make it a bit more like a park, sort of like this one here. And that's kind of it then. Everything else is really done. There's also this patch of terrain out here which you could do something with. But other than that, that really is it. Okay, so let's have a look at the airport. And we'll just walk through it really quickly. If you didn't see the stream, we could just talk through the changes and what it kind of looks like. So from a bird's eye view, excuse me, we basically have the airport delivering in and out. You know, obviously the airships, mail, things like that. So from there, we can kind of obviously can see a little queue of people as they're getting ready to get onto their different platforms. But if we take this little pathway here on the side we come into departures or arrivals depending on if you're getting on or off and you take the little boulevard walking in into this area where we've got a sort of a outdoor cafe we have a building called air cafe we have a little wine stall some toilets in case people need to go another little waiting area then if you want to get onto the balloon platform in fact i might just brighten up the day a little bit so we can see in here a little bit better so the idea was that if you're getting off, so people that like take the airship in, they get off, they take an elevator down, and they walk out this way. So then they're into the waiting area if they want, if they want to wait around, or they can go to the souvenir shop, get the newspapers, get their luggage, whatever it might be, and also have their photo taken. They walk out the boulevard and they get outside, and then you're hit with a street map, some information, bus stop right across from the canal. Perfect. <laughs> At least that's the idea. So if you're in the airport waiting, you've obviously got the barn tables, you got your clock tower, or not clock tower, but you know, your clock on top of the barn tables. You got a different type of waiting clock here if you're just in your waiting area, you don't want to get any food or whatever. Make some important phone calls, wait in the pavilion in case it's raining, etc, etc. That's the idea. Quite happy with how it's turned out in the end. I think it looks quite good. Um, although it was a lot of trial and error. And if you're going up on the balloon to see the city, you have your little photography nook there, stuff like that. 
So, around the back of the airport, we then have the sorting office for the mail and the item transfer depot as well. And it just kind of fairly neatly fits in there, you know, relatively speaking. I just realized, is this a tier one? This needs to be a tier two. I could simply go to press. You could simply go to press, but who in the gods earth would want that? Now that's going to make people fairly unhappy, but that's fine. Whatever. We're going to sort that out so that every time the newspaper rolls, it can only be positive things. Alright, so that's basically the idea there. Now we're just going to hop down on the ground really quickly, and we're going to walk up to Chinatown. Alright, so let's say we just got off our airship. The spotlights are there, by the way, ready for the evening. They only come on at night time. Uh, we'll look at the map. So, this place isn't done-done. There's a lot of cosmetic things I'd like to add in. Obviously, along the canals here, we just have long stretches of nothing. Be nice to add some trees or things in like that. Um, people selling things, whatever. This was built on a hill, so it's looking a little strange, not gonna lie, but that's just the way it is. Can't really do anything about that. Alright, if we turn the corner in here, we're heading into Chinatown using the Dragon Garden Pack. We'll take a bird's eye view of it in just a moment as well. So we have a town hall on the right side. We kind of enter in via the lanterns here, then we have the sort of... The lanterns are sort of telling us where we can come in, where we can go out. There's three of them in total. Uh, two different variants to that ornament as well. Then we've got these different types of trees. So there's more of a sort of cherry blossom pink looking one. There's a yellow one as well. And then I thought there was one other color also, a purpley one. Is that it? Yeah, that must be it. Dark purple, light white-ish, pinkish, and then you've got yellow. All right, then we've got little lanterns. We have a sort of gong as we enter in. Maybe when things happen in the town hall, the gong gets rung. I don't know. We also have this dragon here, and this is all outside of just two different drugstores. Love seeing the city's skyline in the background. Looks awesome. I'm quite happy with how this place came along as well. We've got this sort of statue here, lanterns again, wishing well, wishing wall. Massive bell gong thing. We'll have to look at the proper names for all these. All right, you get the idea. We'll just hop out so we can see it from a better view up here. So this is kind of our, what I'm tentatively calling, Chinatown. So there you go. We'll just do a little rotation. So like I said, dragon right there. Bell gong, another smaller gong, lanterns, lanterns on the overpass, little pathway in that leads to each different kind of drugstore, just cuts through the place in general. So it's just a sort of small little plaza. There's not that many things in the ornament pack. Uh, if we just have a quick look at it here in case people haven't seen it, I've never shown it on the series before because I just bought it during the stream. So yeah, lantern street lights, we got this wishing gate, New Year's stall. I think the New Year's stall is down somewhere. Oh my god, maybe it's not actually. A New Year's stall. That might be one thing I haven't actually placed down. Might have to have a look for a location for that. In fact, I might change this one out here on the fly. So we'll get the New Year's stall right in there. Yeah, perfect. Alright, cool. That just means that we've used everything then. I thought I already had, but I guess not. Alright, cool. So that's basically Chinatown. You know, my little version of Chinatown. Deep in the heart of the city. And, uh, of course, with this city, you know, there's a few things when I was kind of designing it that I wanted to make sure that we could do. There had to be every single type of drugstore. That was just one of the rules. And the reason for that is so that we could reach the max residence here for the uh, Skyline Tower. Now, that's currently almost there. Some of the things haven't got their full supply yet. And, of course, we're going to be sorting all of that out now pretty much as time moves on. And, like I said, the very last thing is these two very large, big... What would you even call them? I was going to say, uh, cylinders, but that's not right. I don't know. Anyway, we've got all these little squares and then these big rectangles. Now, there's room in here to build little things inside of here, little plazas, markets, that kind of thing. Sort of a, a walkway plaza that leads up here would be really nicely, too. Or would be really nice, too. And then we have the park, possibly, on the far side. So hopefully that's all explained. Don't want to waste too much more time with that, but I think it looks pretty good. I'm really happy with it. It's pretty much as good as I can make it, and I spent quite a long time trying to raise and lower the different height of the buildings just to make it look a bit more natural. Of course, you could just max it all out or you could do, go for like really optimal panoramas, which I've tried to do here and there. But ultimately, it was more about that rising effect as we get deeper into the city. And I think at about 11 a.m., it tends to look pretty good the way the shadows get cast onto the different buildings and stuff like that. So we'll probably have one more time lapse before we're done with this area. I need to do the zoo. And I need to do the edges of the canals. A few little things like that. We've now got a post office in the city itself. Such a shame that it, you know, if you got to place it in the city, it's going to be a small building compared to the rest. So it has to be in the heart. But it does it's touch on the building, giving us a huge amount of productivity for mail. So it kind of had to be done. 
Um, okay, so that's kind of it. So let's have a look now at... <laughs> let's start the game, basically, by going through everything that everyone needs. Now, there's tons of things that are needed here, but I'm really going to focus mostly on just the core goods for investors, right? So, spectacles, coffee, light bulbs, champagne, cigars, chocolate, and steam carriages. Now, I already know that some of these things we've definitely got a lot of, so there's no problem there. But some we don't. So, let's start off with the ones that are actually pretty tricky, which is spectacles, champagne, and light bulbs. The reason these are tricky is because they all use one of the same ingredients, which is glass. So I've noticed that we've been running out of that a few times. So we'll just work our way backwards. We'll go all islands. By the way, we're doing this globally. So let's not forget that over here in Crown Farms, we have investors down here as well. Now, they are just tier one. They're never going to be bigger than that. My capital will always be swords. It's easy to build your capital here, um, but I've done it in swords. So we'll see how that goes for me. Also, I think um, one of the gas stations exploded. So let me just check one of the gas mines. Just flicking through the different runes we have here. All right, that's built up. All right, that's all the runes that we have currently. So, we're also going to be making sure that these guys have everything. So that's the difficult thing. If you only build your capital here and you get out of the old world, um, largely speaking, it makes it a lot easier just to have to focus on one place. Now, obviously, you could build investors on every island if you really want the biggest challenge ever. Uh, so, spectacles, specs, all islands, please. Let's just see. Baseline. We're consuming 19 and we're producing 16. Where are we producing those things? We're doing it in Lusk. We're doing it in Crown Farms. And that's it. So we're getting a few bits of byproducts from different items. So the Gramophone Factory, for instance, will give us a by byproduct, I assume. And this is largely taking place on Lusk. There's three factories doing it here on Crown Farms. Hmm. I wonder, is it possible to just make this all happen on Lusk? So I'm just going to shift these off for a while. So these ones are off now. So now the only producers should be active in Lusk alone. So they're paused. So now it's all just Lusk. So let's see if we can get these, if we can pump these numbers up, these rookie numbers. So what do we got in terms of items? So extra goods, spectacles, one out of 14, one every 14 cycles, I think that means. Okay, and nothing too crazy with those ones. And then these are all the Spectacles factories here. Now, if I really wanted to get a little cheeky, it looks like... Pressing uh, hotkeys to do it satisfactorily. We could sneak another one in sideways right there. And it would get in range of that trade union. Or we could offload or move the wine somewhere else. The, sorry, the champagne. Might be a potential. Might be a potential thing that we got to do, sorry. So, this doesn't get anything specific to do with what we're making here. This is just affects all production buildings. Everything's getting a boost. We're boosting our gold. Gold is maxed out. Of course, we do have the dock lens. I'm not opposed to using dock lens a little bit. So, let's have a look at our dock lens and see what it's doing currently. We are taking in spectacles. Probably, a, a, it seems like a... What's the word? Temporary solution just to get some in there. And we're getting glass in that way, too. Hmm. It is tempting, because it's not that much. So let's see what we would need to trade for glasses. It feels a, a bit wrong to be doing it here at the beginning. Straight away using Docklands. But we're consuming 19 and currently producing 12. That's the capacity. Now, does that include... It does obviously include what the... Yeah. So that means we're 7 tons per minute off. It takes 20 minutes for Mr. Docklands to come by. So if I was just to quickly do some quick maths... Um, 7 times 20 is 140. It's not that much. It's quite a reasonable extra to bring in, right? So let's just have a look. So if we were to say, you know, round it up a bit, maybe 200. Oops, I'll type in spectacles. And we'll target 200. Now, what I know I have to trade here for sure is going to be steel and gold. So let's try try some of the gold. And we're looking for 200. So that's going to be 98 gold. It's kind of a lot. Mm, maybe. A lot of the ores and things we can now get ourselves. So I feel like we don't really need to be pulling in ores. So let's just put that one down as that's one of the ones that I've sorted out. I think that's it. We'll just leave it at that. That way... I am really debating though, just throwing that one extra building there. What does it consume? 39 engineers. I mean, that's really nothing. And then it would just need more glass and more brass. 
That does seem like a better solution. So let's try that. I'm going to have to ultimately get rid of this. Copy this, bring it sideways, slam it in there. So an extra glasses spectacles factory. And what's that going to do for me in total? Brings me up to 14, so it's only two per minute. What kind of items do we have in the game then that can affect spectacles? Affect all old world. So yeah, we could actually reduce the... Oh, that's another thing I didn't even think about. We could reduce the consumption of these things. Okay, so this one's going to basically give you bonus residence, bonus residence, bonus residence, and this guy makes extra good. So there's nothing that actually reduces consumption of spectacles. Interesting. You just get bonus residence if you have spectacles. I see. Hopefully I'm looking at this correctly. Unknown equipped in storage. Yeah. Yep. Okay, so we have an item already. Professor Ramdevi, he's the guy that's making the little bit of extra. Hmm. I'm, I'm just thinking, <laughs> I'm just thinking, do we want to do it this way? Pulling in that little extra spectacles through Docklands? Or do... Yeah, I think so. Alright, in that regard, I might remove... I guess I'll leave the building. We'll leave the building, even though it is slightly off compared to the other ones. That doesn't really matter in terms of aesthetics. Who cares, right? It's in the giant factory complex. It doesn't really matter. So, if that's the case, that means we need six more, so... Instead of maybe 200 as I round it up, we'll just put it back down to about 180. It's still more than I need, but it does ease us on the gold side of things. So that's technically glass is done, but we'll have to sort out the trade route for it. So let's see. And I'll just flick, quickly flick through the different Docklands, make sure we're not pulling in spectacles anywhere else. We are pulling in and a tremendous amount of glass for some reason at Crown Farms. Yeah, I'm going to go crazy, guys, because otherwise this will be just too confusing to know what's what anymore. So we're getting rid of everything. We're having a clear out of Docklands. It has to be done. And that way we can truly look at our values. I mean, the values don't, I guess, change in the statistics screen, but at least this way we just know. So that's what we got for the very beginning. In fact, can we bring this up to the top just to say that it's right there? Okay, and that's 180. I didn't know you could have two things in the same place. All right, cool. So a fresh Docklands right there for us. The next one over, Malahide. We'll leave that as it is. Rush, just leave that as it is. Don't know too much about that. Although, don't like seeing this. There is some weird stuff going on, actually. Yeah. All right, and then Swords itself. Again, here, we're just going to cut everything away. And we'll have to just figure it all out ourselves. All right, totally fresh blank slate. And the last one, I think, is Crown Farms, is it? Yeah. And that's all that's going on there. Okay, we'll just get rid of that as well. So, completely fresh. All we've done is to use Docklands just to get a little bit of extra spectacles. And that's our first thing that we need. And then we can start to look on. But we have to go work our way down the chain and make sure the spectacles aren't going to fall apart some, some of the way. So, in order to do that, we'll have a look then at what's needed for spectacles, right? So, we need glass and brass. You want to stay out on this side? I'm going to say no for now, Benty. Is that a different airship? Do I have that one? The Atto Tolin. Let's see. No, so I, so I do. I just don't think I've ever made one. Or if I had, I can't remember it. Okay, anyway. So, it's all about spectacles. All about glass. All about brass. So, our big brass foundries are... Uh, no, they're not. I thought they were here. Let's see. I know I've got some in, in Crown Farms, but I thought I did some here. On Island Zero. Well, I guess not. There we go. Got a bunch here. So we actually built these really lazily in a recent episode. Hmm. 16 on the island. Game That's is afoot. pretty crazy. 3, 6, 9, 12, and then there's 4 down here. Interesting. Okay, well, we've got the workforce for it all. The thing is, we don't have the trade union for it. So let's build a trade union over somewhere over this way and expand the factory. And start setting up another similar thing to what we had on the other side, which was people that person? affect. You're a happy person. 
people that affect brass and, and I think foundries, isn't it? So let's try brass. Productivity 50% of a spectacle factory. Well, there you go. That's the kind of guy I was looking for before, actually. Productivity 50% instead of brass. The building produces, processes wood. Hold on a minute. This is crazy. You just take in straight wood. It's not even timber. It's just wood. And he makes pocket walkage watches. What? So how did I not see that when I searched before? Items? Didn't I search spectacles? Oh, because it came with spectacle factory. Oh, here we go. <laughs> all production buildings, all production buildings. So yeah, spectacle factory. Let's see if anyone else does the spectacle factory specifically. I, oh, she does. Or he does. Excuse me. Optometrist Otto. Extra goods. He produces glass. Oh my god. Get to the institute now. Do we have him anywhere? No. Spectacles, please. There you are. Get him in the queue. Bring him up to the top. And get you out of there. Alright. Missing research points. We just have to wait till we build up enough points and then he'll begin. So that's fine. Let's have a look. So that's two of our things sorted. We'll need a third one. So let's have a look again. Spectacle Factory. Okay, so we know that we're going to have Gerhard Bucks of the patent eyeglass. Uh, the next person we're going to have is Optometrist Otto. And then let's see what else we can get. Anything for spectacle effects? Here we go. The Watchmaker's Loop. 40% productivity. Affects the spectacle factory. So that's a big maybe. If not that one, then we'll see if we can get something else. Not seeing anything to... She affects the Spectacle Factory. 30% productivity. But that's not as good as, obviously, if we just get this. Because he does... This does the same thing. Designed by the very artisans who use them. This magnifier guarantees quality. Alright, we're pretty much done then. I think I'll take what I've looked at and learned. Hey, look! What the hell are the chances of that? A Spectacle Maker! What the fuck? <laughs> <laughs> in the name of Gerhard Fox is going on. Spectacle maker. Obviously we don't want it. She just lowers the... Yeah, yeah. It's just... What a coincidence. That was crazy. Um, okay. I think that's, that's good to go. If we get too far down, we'll obviously get into the common territory. So this is the last one. 35%. But it's a very similar thing. So we're going to get this as well. The watch Watchmaker's Loop. Open that up in here. Okay, I'll bring this up to the top as well. So you'll be next. Alright, we can max that out, so it's going to be 9 minutes. That's the unfortunate thing, that it will take a little bit of time before we can get that in and see exactly the numbers that we're getting out of this place. So, that means it's a pretty big change, because what we're going to do is make a dedicated spectacle area. So these can go. These can go. We can squeeze something else in here in the future. No more spectacles. Blank space, ready for the future. Maybe more wine or something else. We'll have to think about it. Because these are just generic items that are giving productivity and workforce reduction. So it makes sense to have a something else in here. Not necessarily terribly specialized. But if we could maybe specialize and locate the... The brass is going to come out to here, which is nice, and then we can maybe say, well, actually, we don't need brass, we just need wood. That's incredible. We have a big wood-producing island down here called Hunt's End. If you remember, this is where We're Lady Margaret Hunt lived, care. and it's just full on wood. So excellent, right? So we have Mr. Gerhard here, don't we? We do. So straight away, we can at least test this out, and he'll give us some pocket watches back. Instead of brass, the building produces wood. That is insane. <laughs> but okay. So Spectacle Factory then. So we actually have some down here, right? That The ones we paused. I don't know how many I'll need. And maybe it's a bit much doing a whole trade union dedicated to just spectacles. But I'm going for it. Now, normally these are going to be taking a hundred. And then we know about the two other ones that are going to have to go in here. So we're going to have a lot of spectacles. I mean, we'll be able to trade some away in Docklands probably. 
Because we're... Yeah. So this circle really just needs everything to do with these. So something like that. And something like that. And that will just be like that area. I mean, that's like kind of... Not the max, but it's close to the max of what we could fit in there. You could shift it over, I guess. So, well, we can't shift that one over. We could shift this one over. What a brilliant quality of life feature. All right. And that would fit in there if we just move from the road again one more over. All right, there you go. Yeah, looking good. Maybe if you turn them lengthways, it'd be more efficient, probably. Anyway, that gives us room again for fire stations. Always need them in this place. Uh, as the productivity is going to be going crazy. And then, of course, we'll need our storage bays and stuff like that. Now, another question would be, are they getting power? So where's power in this place? Obviously, we have our train tracks here. We've got power lines right there. So the power sort of ends on this side, but trains are coming out ready to feed into what I would assume is another power station. Maybe let's move that up a bit. Grab power here. We have plenty of oil, so it shouldn't be a problem. But I imagine train logistics might start to become a problem soon. Something like there, I think. All right. And then we'll just grab the train line, drag it out, and bring it into there. And there we go. We've added another station that should get power, thus powering all of this sector here. Now, in the meantime, I'm just going to get rid of all that brass. Because we don't need it. It's just pure efficiency is what it is, as you know. Uh, maybe we can speed up time as well, actually, just while we're thinking this out. And that way, we can switch this to wood. Well, it's already switched to wood, sorry. So glass is the only other thing needed. Now glass production would be the next thing that we can really focus on. So... I guess I don't even have any idea where glass is made, but we cut it all off from Docklands. I assume we weren't making enough before. So the consumption is 76 as of right now, although some of those things might be... has the potential to change. I suppose if we just look at Crown Farms itself... 30, so the demand... We could be making 20 here. 34 is the consumption on this island. So let's see, what's, um, this is production. I don't know if you can actually, I think I've said this many times before. How do you see where it's being consumed? Do you, is there any way of telling that? It tells you where we're producing it. We're making all the glass right now on Crown Farms. We have eight glass makers. It's been a very, very long time since I've made anything with glass from scratch like this, so there they are there. So they have a trade union as well. And we are affecting glassmakers, light bulb factories, and lantern smiths. All drink production, and then a coffee. So it's a, that's a bit of a mess of things, isn't it? You could potentially just get more coffee in there. Ah, but we don't have enough of the unlocks from the actual research institute. So we're affecting those light bulbs. We're affecting coffee. So we could get rid of these and affect more things. So it's taking port sand. Or move the drinks production somewhere. Yeah, I just don't know which one to move where. This affects drinks production as well. Avoid the mines using an echo locator and dive at the specified location. Where is the specified location? Clicking it doesn't do anything for me. Sail to the specified location with your salvager. I'm delighted to is it in the Arctic? Our new colleague. No. Well, our boat is in the Arctic for doing this, so we'll send it to Cape Trelawney. Yeah, clicking it doesn't tell me. I'm seeing a star here, but on the map I'm not seeing anything, so I have no idea. Maybe when it gets into the location, into this theater, it'll know. Alright, this is so interesting because it's such a cause and effect thing where it's like now we could change where these go. Or we could just change where the drinks production goes. Because I don't like this being split between the two. Let's just affect all glass makers here. I think that would make more sense, right? So Marco de la Moca, crusher of beans. Uh, I think we'll move him somewhere else. And therefore also move his 
drink production up this way. Now, do these need power? Yeah, giving them power definitely helps. So, okay. Well, let's just... Well, we'll just move. Move everything. And to keep it the exact same, the exact same, it was like this. Now, they don't have power right now. It's because power runs out here, so they'll need their own station as well. Unless we can just connect them. Don't know. Uh, it gives it a little bit, but it's not the whole way over. Man, power doesn't really go that far. If we were to count the tiles, it's from here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Five, six, seven, eight. That's 16 at that point. Uh, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30, 31, 32, 33, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 40. 41, 42, 43, 44, 45 at the next junction. 6, 7, 48. 48 tiles? Hmm. Yeah, it doesn't really feel like it's that far. I guess it's not bad. Um, but that's frustrating because it means that in order to get in there, we'd have to put another one down somewhere like here. And I don't know how the train would really get to it. And stuff up here needs to change as well. Ugh. A lot of the malt can probably be moved. And what are these doing? Oh, that's glass as well. Oh, that's funny. Okay, yeah, so let's grab these two, bring them down. Okay, you'll be fine down there. In terms of the malt, let's just move that. I don't know where to put this, but just it's just somewhere temporary. <laughs> somewhere for now. Alright, and then we'll just drag this, bring it around, whatever. <laughs> okay, then we've got our chemical factories. Of course, these definitely need a trade union at some point, the souvenirs. This I can go, as, well, let's just move it, because obviously it takes a while to build. Uh, this production space is so invaluable. Okay, so, just trying to see, so this is power fed across both ways. And just to keep it kind of consistent so I can see the line a bit better, I'm just going to cut away these walls for a moment, drag that out like this. So it kind of gives me a better indication of how far over we can go, so let me just disconnect that for a moment. Yeah, so optimal placement is really somewhere like out here. And that way they both like reach the middle of both of these places. But then yeah, we need another one somewhere like up there then I, th I think. Something like that, kind of. And that should feed everything inside. We just need to figure out how to get the actual railway over there. Um, yeah. Okay, so the way I can do this is we'll just chop away this, bring this down a bit. Gonna have to bring this down or up or something. Actually, I've got an idea. Sorry, the, I, what I was thinking was dragging the rail line parallel to that road, but I'll do it this way instead. So it'll go in there. So what are you missing? Nothing. Just low, low on engineers. That's okay. Once the other items come in, it might help a bit Our with engineers. Must be stored in warehouses. Direct current now. So you don't have your item. What's this guy? Marco de la Mocha, Crusher of Beans. Okay, Marco de la Mocha. And then maybe we can get something that lowers down the engineering cost of all this. Because they're kind of, it's kind of expensive. So let's just have a look. Effects, it's a coffee roaster or drink production. So one or the other. So let's go drinks production. Nothing on this island for it. Coffee roaster, advanced coffee roaster. Uh. Attractiveness, we have maintenance costs and provide- oh, just provides electricity. Explosion chance increase though. Okay, so let's check global items then. 
advanced coffee roaster. And then I'll see if anything can reduce the workforce. So obviously we can get a human incarnate. Workforce needed negative 20%. Negative 50% with one of these. And we've got a few of those in use already. And then is there anything that's more specific, I guess, to drinks or advanced coffee? Workforce needed negative 25. That's a pretty good one. Negative 50% for workforce affects all things. Let's just get that, even if it's going to be temporary. This is the Research Institute. We conduct research here. Extremely loud bell. I suppose with future episodes, maybe it'd be a good idea if I look these items up first. <laughs> uh, okay, so do we get the other items then? Because time has been playing on triple speed. I think so. So it should be over here. Um... We could just fly it with an airship over quite quickly. Hi. We'll just take one of these. Alright, so... I can barely even remember what we just got. Yeah, I'm after forgetting what it was. <laughs> Don't even remember what I just made. Um, so it's obviously going to be affecting the glass, right? Let me just check. Things that affect spectacle factory, okay. So we can't search them in the, the trade thing there. We have to actually click a warehouse to search. Let's just search this way. <clears throat> in storage, on this island, so there we go. So the watchmaker's loop and we have optometrist auto. There he is, and there it is. All right. Let's take this over. Cape Trelawney, Crown Farms, off you go. See you soon. So that's going to give us extra goods, glass, which is going to help a lot. And then also, basically gives you back some glass. And then also just productivity and maintenance costs. So I'm just going to look for, again, workforce. Workforce needed. Workforce needed, negative 30% framework knitters. So just tell me all islands in storage right now. Product hit workforce. Holy crap. Oh, but it obviously affects certain things. Affects. Oh, it's so close because he affects lots of drinks stuff, but not what we need. Yeah, I might have to look through some of these myself, but I, I guess we can still just keep working and get some of the layout done. I love how uh, by the end of this episode, I'm not even going to have one product done basically at this rate. I hope that train is going to work okay because I feel like. There's going to be a lot of trains trying to access this, but it is fully upgraded to Grand Oil Harbor. Oh, we just added two more of those. Okay, so these are all operational now. Glass and wood are being consumed. And we can just flip them to make them look super even. Okay. Super unified. We could obviously dress this up and make it look a little bit nicer in the future. But this is a way just to get mass spectacles. So if we even look at before we even add the other stuff, what do we I imagine we're already making more than we need globally. Yeah, we're making 28. And we only consume 19. So we've sorted this out for sure. And we've activated all lifestyle, right? So we know that we could also deliver it down to Mbesa, I think, have it as a lifestyle. Apparently not. Is it a happiness? It's a happiness. Okay. It's one of those things they can get. Lifestyle. Cool. And let's just check then in the new world. Do they have it as a lifestyle? I feel like artistas or someone up here does. Who cares? Pour some more. They don't have it. What about obreras? Yeah. Obreras have it. Okay. So that's the global demand. I mean, we have it active, so we can actually see that everywhere. By the way, did I just see something paused? Yeah. Beer was paused. They can have their beer. Okay, so the problems in front of us then are sorting out the workforce problem with engineers. And I imagine that might be a problem going forward. But we have to do it without really expanding the workforce. I mean, we could expand it a little bit. But it'd be kind of tricky to do. Another issue that we're going to have is when we want to deliver mail. There's very few places 
There's nowhere, in fact, that can do regional mail. So regional mail has to be within this region. Someone has to deliver it from another island. So I was thinking of building up this island, and I actually, oh, I threw away the paper. But I did work it out. I think I need 4,000 residents. And then it'll be enough regional mail to sort out this island. So that's something that we're going to have to build. And we can do it at artisan level. I did work all that out. So I've been busy, just not with what's right in front of me right now. But I did think of that. It's like, okay, 4,000 artisans is enough to create enough regional mail to supply this entire island. So that's what we're going to have to target doing. Now, the interesting thing with artisans is they take spectacles, don't they? I think they do. So that's another instance of where... This is why I feel like even working from the top down isn't going to sort this out fully, because... Oh, they don't. They don't need it. It's just engineers. Okay, cool. But still, things like that could be a problem. Oh, I'm sorry, Nate. Yeah, I didn't... I... <laughs> Time was moving very fast for me. Um, but oh well. Still waiting on the oil to get delivered here. Oh, right. It is delivered. We just need to give it a road. There we go. You have your electricity. Coffee is now up and running again. And there's two coffee roasters down here that need to be surrounded by this place. And that's the most we could have. We ran out of what was needed. Now, we could put other drinks production up here in future. So it's not the worst thing. But also just something that lowers workforce. Um, which that item has been made now. The other one's here now as well, by the way. So you can head back to swords. All right, cool. So long story short, we have the two other items now. So it was auto and the other thing. So it's this thing, the watchmaker's loop, productivity 40%, boom. And then auto, 40% and extra good. So some extra glass is provided for us. So now we're consuming glass, we're consuming wood at a very high rate to produce a lot of spectacles. Um, so let's again have a look at spectacles. Now we're making 36 tons per minute. And we only need 19. So a bit too much. See, this is where I'm going to have to like really be careful with this kind of thing in future. I'll need to make sure that where we are, what we're making in terms of glasses and stuff like that, either we just provide ourselves with a little bit more than we need or I share the trade union space with something else. Arguably, this is a little overkill, right? You could probably lose this thing, the watchmaker's loop, 40% productivity. If we just took that away right now, we could have a look at um, spectacles. All islands. It's still 32 over 19. 33 over 19. So it's like, oh man, do you really need, for instance, this, 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 and this? Probably not. Let's see. So now we're at 23 over 19. That seems pretty good to me. 24 over 19. All islands. Because of course we're getting a little bit in Lusk, right? Just from that item. I think that's active. Although I'm not seeing that right now. I don't know why. Should be active though, right? In Lusk? Yeah. Gramophone factory, light bulb factory. If I go all islands... Oh, it wasn't actually clicked. That's why. My bad. But yeah, so we're making it in a few different places, but that's okay. So yeah, 24 over 19. I think I'm pretty happy. That's five tons per minute more than we need, which means we can leave that slot blank. We'll keep this guy in here because he actually does give me back some items, which is good. Now we can get rid of this. And we can maybe figure something else that can go in here. So I might have to have a think about that. If you've got any suggestions, let me know. But of course, it might just depend on what we end up coming across. You've got different skins for trade unions. Oh, that's cool. Old skin. Yeah, so that's the kind of thing I'm going to be trying to sort of throttle and get working right. So, engineers. Oh, yeah, that's the other thing. They probably were falling because they were lacking certain things. Oh, they're actually lacking power. That's because of gas. Gas hasn't arrived here in a while. Yeah, that's going to be a whole different issue. <laughs> but I will fix that eventually. It's got to be fixed in the Arctic, of course. Okay, so. Spectacles. Spectacles are sorted. Uh, so let's just slow time down again for a moment. So we've got room on this for more in the future. Not necessarily right now. And we've got kind of room on this one for more in the future too. Two slots. Possibly just one slot if we end up just wanting to reduce the workforce. Because it's kind of hefty. 150 engineers per building. And there is, what, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. So it's 1,500 engineers just being used to make coffee. And I think coffee, just to quickly have a look, we are totally fine for it. Um, 98 over 90, although some buildings are not operational because the trade routes have not been set up yet. Okay. Good, good, good. 
all very good. So let's just tidy this place up a bit. I think if we were to move this down a bit, it could look quite nice. I can get it to line up with this road. Just like that. This can then just feed straight across, just like that. And of course, this can be maybe upgraded a bit as it's going to be in high demand, I have no doubt. Alright, so there we go. We've got a row of nice spectacle factories. We've got two fire stations either side. Now, they could be filled with something else, but for now, that's totally fine. We've got storage either side. We've got other things as well. So, sand. Quartz sand seems like an issue. Um, which we could just start drilling, or whatever you want to call it. Drudging, that's the word, up from the, uh, the water in other islands and pull it all here. Now, do I make any anywhere, or have I always just brought it in? I feel like I've always brought it in. All islands as a raw material... We consume 59 and we don't make it anywhere. Okay. So let's have a look. What does it take to bring it in locally? 25 workers. Well, we've got 2,000 workers. And I dare say they've been quite lazy as of late. So we could maybe make this a place where we just drudge up tons of sand. Let's get rid of... Or we could use some of the free workforce we have on other islands, such as this one. There's nothing really fertility-wise that we'd want other than maybe the fur. What about this big island? Colossus 2. Again, we've got all this free workforce. Could just have it dredge some sand for us. I don't plan on living on these islands with big people, like a lot of people or anything. This one could have the artisans or this one. I think it'd probably do with this one. This island has fur as well. Hmm. Yeah, it's either or, really. This is There's more open terrain on this one, so I feel like this is better for fur. Whereas this is... Mm, I guess there's not much coast, though. That's the argument on that one. Whereas this has two, three beaches. I mean, why not both, I guess? If you could just create the commuter pier, I suppose we just get the workforce anyway, right? So yeah, let's figure that out. So a commuter pier. Commuter pier takes 15 influence, so no problem. And it's going to take some materials that we don't quite have. It's going to be limestone or, yeah, reinforced concrete, steel beams, and windows. All right. On our way. Speed over to it real quick. That's technically not a pier, so we'll have to just go further in. This I never updated or changed the look of this place yet either. All right. So construction. Um, I suppose just take some wood, take some bricks, take some of that. So you're good to go. Room to Let me know when you get there. Ooh, very low on the reinforced concrete. So we might have to bring some in. Alright, so reinforced concrete is going to come from down here. Gonna get all of these ships to deliver in a big batch together. Okay, so you, you, and you. Cape Trelawney. Don't know even the name of the island. I think it was Colossus too. So go there. I will see them shortly. Yeah, Colossus 2. I'll have to rename it something else. So, in the meantime, while we're waiting for these things to get here, we'll speed it up just a little bit and start activating quartz sand. So it's going to need wood and bricks. So obviously we'll just fill this out in a big, fat, ugly-looking line. Maybe we can put it somewhere... F oh my god, you can stack two of them together. That's amazing. Can you? Yeah, you actually can. Wow, I didn't know you could ever do that. Well, I suppose just start with the one behind first. And then if we've got any space to have another one out there, let's do it. Free harbor area needed. That one's able to do it where it is. Yeah, I don't know. It's like it needs a gap, but this these two didn't. Oh, I see. At a certain point, it becomes like your... Yeah. The thing is over I'm the line. I'm delighted to introduce our new colleague. 
Still, it's kind of more than I would have expected. So that's we could get quite a lot. <laughs> and you could maybe have a harbor master office out there or something boosting them even further if you really wanted to be getting your best bang for your buck, right? Harbor master office, stick it somewhere out there. Can't do it there. You'd have to get rid of this, and it would affect a bunch. Why does it say free harbor area needed? Surely it is free. Anyway, these guys are here now. I'm obviously misunderstanding something about this. Why wouldn't you be able to go further out? I don't I don't get that. It's very strange to me, but okay. I understand blocking what's in front of you and blocking even all the way out to the edge, but yeah, I don't know. Maybe I'm just having a weird brain fart. Alright, cool. So you could pop that down just as an example to see items again. I'm item mad. If we go quartz sand. Instead of glass, the building processes quartz sand. Intriguing. So instead of... To, oh, that's for a window maker, not for glass. Okay, I thought it was for glass. Is there anything that affects quartz sand? Well, that can't be the only... Okay, yeah. Sand mine. What are these called? These are sand mines. Oh, right. Okay, yeah. Got it. <laughs> sand mine item. And then I guess we can actually see what affects it. So does this have to go... If it's going to affect a sand mine... That's Harbor Master Office. Yeah, that's what I'm looking for. Affects all coastal production buildings. Provides electricity. Boom. Oh, right. And I could, oh, God, I'm such an idiot. All right. Tag it by Harbor Master. Click sand mine. And there we go. Got it. So, sticky, shiny claws. Productivity, 35%. All harbor buildings, self-repair. Coastal buildings, 25%. Yeah, I think I'd like to do this. Just to, I don't know, say that we did it. Prospector of auspiciousness. So, a lot of these things I think we get from Nate. Nate. But this is cool. Extra goods, gold. But it's it has to be activated. Oh, right. That's weird. Okay. Well, I'll think about it. This isn't as high priority, but we'll just activate these now anyway. So there we go. We're transferring workforce on... Well, actually, we know we're not. We have to build it up here to do that. And you're lacking your reinforced concrete. So the other ships that get in here from the other session... There they are. Right on time. So some of you just leave your stuff there. Otherwise, come all the way up here, please. And we're going to need storage. Lots of storage. So even just temporarily for now, <laughs> we'll just stick this out here. Lacking wood and bricks. Okay, cool. Just make another del delivery. I don't really want to set up local production just because it's only going to be a place we do this once and then we're basically going to be leaving it for a very long time. So, yeah. It seems to be the best that we can affect. So maybe eight buildings can be affected? I might play around with that and see where else I can put them to make them more effective. Because it feels like you could definitely get more out. Like, if where I got rid of this one even... How do we take this stuff without a way ass? Yeah, it's weird. I don't really get why that, how that works, to be quite honest. And how you can fit there, but fair enough. I'm sure we can get like eight. We can get quite the boost out of these guys. Oh, right. They're not going to be able to reach back to warehouses, because they're all the way out here. I am really losing my mind, haven't I? Alright, well, let's just do this then. So they're all hooked up, and they're hooked up. They're going to need their own warehouse. We need a pier to come out if we wanted to do the same for those guys, right? How far can you go? So you need something like that, and then you need to go across, and then we'll need a warehouse like here, and then they might be able to get re have that reach. That's how they would work. 
they wouldn't be able to get their harbor master. They need it on the other side. Anyway, go over here. It's my battle battleship still doing their victory lap over Arthur. All right, we've dropped all that off. We're sharing the workforce now. Boom. Although we have to connect it. All right, now it's active. New orders. All right, that's all the concrete back in. Alright, and while you're here, I guess pick up some uh, pick up some planks and just make a one-off delivery of like planks and bricks again. Okay, down you go again. Alright, once they get there, these things can be built, and then that's sand. So we'll have to set up delivery of sand. So create a trade route from this island to this island, loading just sand, raw material, quartz sand, all the way. Unload all that, assign just a standard ship, if we can find one that's in Cape Trelawney that'd be nice, the fortitude, perfect. We're staying in the Cape? Is there no trade route that just stays here locally? Weird, okay, create a new group then. Sand import, accept. Yeah, we've got Cape to the New World, Cape to the Old World, but there's no just like, if you're just staying here. Alright, there we go. So there's, we have our ship delivering sand. Now, if we were to just quickly check, sand, even just from here to the other island. The demand is 38. We are providing 16 when all gets up and running. That's why we need that to activate the other items. So we have to go find those, but we also have all this, I suppose. We can just spam more of it once these ships get down here. Uh, how many more can I build? Nothing at the moment. Okay, just speed up time. Ships are cresting the corner. On our way. In fact, we might have to make multiple runs, actually, thinking about this. Only our reporting in. All right, you guys do that again. All right, just bring them back down here. Okay, cool, so, boom. Active, these are now active. Unfortunately, oh man, we're just out of range of that one. So close. Damn. Yep, not much I can do about that. Okay, so the way we can maybe fix this is if we just delete that. Shift this over one. Bring this down here. Construction area blocked. I don't understand how that's blocked, but okay. Hey, people are happy again. Okay. Tortillas run out though, that's not good. Don't tell them about that. Uh, right, so you go away. Put you in there. Okay, so that fits there for some bizarre reason <laughs> that I'll never understand, apparently. Can you just go somewhere then for a minute? God damn. I'm sorry if it's frustrating for you guys if you know what the problem is there, but I just don't. I do not get it. Like, why can this be built here, but it can't be built further up? I do not get that. I don't understand. The construction area is... Yeah, anyway, I just don't get it, but whatever. Uh, so, if you can't go there, then I guess just go back wherever you can. Okay, and then can that harbor master fit in behind you? It can. Okay, that's good. Can't affect... Yeah, it's either the bottom left guy or not. Okay. Same amount either way. All right, stay there then. So upgrade this one. We'll drag these out to make them kind of even if we can. Don't understand that. <laughs> Don't get it. Really weird. Okay, so let's uh, drag this across. Like 
so. We could just fill that in with key size if we really wanted to. Bring this down a bit further now. That's going to hit all of those ones. So they're all active now at least. So ugly. Ugly. Okay, they're all active. Uh, let's just activate these ones and then see how we're doing with the statistics. Alright, so they all have something as well. These can be upgraded now. Cool, just get rid of this temporarily. So that's what we got. I mean, that was disaster in terms of how I did it, but it's there now. And the Harbor Master is there as well for the future to boost things. So we're at 26. I reckon with the boost, that's, that'll be all we'd need then. Um, but if we just check all islands, quartz, sand... Oh, no, we don't. We need 51, actually. So we're way off. And is that just in Crown Farms? Crown Farms needs 30. So technically not as much, but there must be a demand somewhere else. I don't think we're making glass anywhere else, but I'm, I'll have to have a look. Looks nice. Kind of. It's kind of coming together. Can obviously clean it up once we get everything down. Um, but yeah, we could just see where else can I fit these guys in. So you can't go there for some reason. You can go sideways. <laughs> well, that works. So, done. Ah, so they'll need to all move forward one, if they can, to get that road in. Construction area blocked. So it seems like this just takes more than it tells you. Because that can go in now. And then for some reason this can't fit there. Oh. Nope. You can go there though. So. <laughs> Alright. So then this would need its own warehouse as close to the coast as possible. Which is going to be basically here. Okay, that's all active. This one's not because we don't have a road going to it. I can't push them further forward, can I? No. And you can't move any further forward. So that's going to have to be it. By the way, I should say, like, I do understand that the edge of this can't go over the edge of the grid. Like, I, I do get that. I didn't think that's what was happening. It felt like... It feels like we should be able to go to there, but we... But I couldn't before. Anyway, maybe I did get confused, but... Anyway, doesn't really matter. Right, let's get rid of that one. So those will just be standard added on. And they'll just go into that warehouse. Upgrade that. Okay, cool. So that's what we got. A lot of sand being dredged up. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine of them can be affected. If we can get some items that do so. If I have a look really quickly. So if we go Harbor Master and we search sand mine. Just see if I've got anything in storage. No. So I'll have to uh, search for these. Transmuting and is the only way of getting some of them. Yeah, it's all to do with transmuting, so we'll have to do that. Okay, anyways, so that's sand. That's 34. Now, if we get those boosts of another 100% and 150% productivity, that's definitely going to put us over the edge, even with just that. And we're totally fine on workforce, Hi. so... At least we're kind of there. If I just get those items queued up in the Research Institute or in transmuting if I get some of the items together uh, in between episodes I can have that pretty much ready to go in the next one and then we can put that to bed and say look it's done uh, the other thing that needs to be sorted out though is getting wood to come over here so the sand was needed for glass yeah I don't have all I need for my canvas I know did we make enough glass <laughs> we were one short so we'd actually need another item in here, for instance? Yeah, oh my god. Guys, this is going to take so long <laughs> to figure out all the... I wish there was no items in the game, so it's just more straightforward. Because it's like, you can just look at different items and then change yeah, everything yes. so much. I know people love it. Um, the items, I mean. But yeah, that's going to be something we have to look into. And then if we add more light bulbs, hey, we need more glass. So it's just going to be this constant evolving problem. 
So this is doing drinks production and glassmakers, light bulb factory, and lantern smith. <sighs> yeah, it's one of those things we're just gonna have to look up quite a bit. Look okay. down here. That's the filaments. That's all good. Hmm. Everything's rather fragile. Yeah. All right. Well, I know that I'll need at least one more of these at the very least. We have the artisan workforce for it, and then we have to basically get our sand to equate that. Let's just have a look at what they do take in terms of transmuting. I'd like to do it now instead of leaving it for the next episode. So let me just see. Sand mine. Obviously, you can use docklands as well. We're trying to do this without docklands because we do have the island space. So it feels like raw materials where you just have free... Sorry. Um, coastlines and lots of free space. You should use it and free workforce. Use it to your best ability. So we can get the racinated super spinner provides electricity to the coastal building so that'd be awesome so to transmute the i have to write the name of this down so i'll just forget to introduce it our new colleague ratio nate okay the uh the next one then productivity 35 percent for the sticky shiny claws and then the next one would probably be this one right 25 percent productivity greedy myths I'll just quickly have a look if there's something else that we'd want. Affects the sand mine when activated. So that's not good enough because I don't want to just be activating every four hours. What about this one? Provides electricity as well. Chance of fire and explosions increased. The grubby hands. The sand mine again for gold. Yeah, so that seems like basically it. How okay, so that's... How about an for rain or shine? <laughs> Goodness knows I could... How about no? I want uh, to look let's... after everyone. Also I check here then. So does he? Is he the one that has it? Harbor master out. items. There it is. So what do you need? Special scrap, frames, filaments, and cowchuck. Yeah, it's gonna take a while to get these things together. I think I've got the special scrap though. If I'm just to have a look really quickly, is it a construction resource? I feel like it is. Yeah, we've got 400 actually. So we've got that. It's just a matter of getting the other things. So intermediates, it's going to be some of these, some chassis. We've got filaments. They're going to need caoutchouc, which is here. Yeah, so I'll have a look in between episodes, source those materials, and then we're just going to keep working through all the things they need. So I did a, an entire episode where I literally didn't even get one thing sorted. I mean, we worked out a lot, but Spectacles is not done. <laughs> But it's a complicated one. It's just because glass effects, bulbs, champagne, and spectacles. It's just one of those things that's really complicated to get right. And there's so many different things to work back. But in theory, it should only get easier as we go back. Because I'm pretty sure all of these things are just totally done. It's just, it's really just the, yeah, chocolate. Which actually, chocolate's done. It just needs to get delivered. It, the trade route's gone. Uh, so yeah, I think cigars, champagne... Light bulbs and spectacles will be the most difficult the thing. Temptation. Coffee's already done. All that other stuff is done. Uh, yeah, actually, it's that's pretty great. I feel like 90% of the stuff is good. We'll have to check into the drugstore, though, just to make sure these do, do they do okay. A lot of the drugstore stuff, I feel like that's where my Docklands will come in. All right, guys, it's going to have to be it. The music has been gone off for a while, but here's some music, actually. Oh, nice. The music stays on even out here. Alright. <laughs> hope uh, I'm looking forward to seeing what people think of the city. And if you got ideas for the park or what you think that should be or could be before I end up putting something else down. I was thinking of fusing this with Old World um, cosmetics a bit. So we have the old church in there. We've got the old town hall. The old school variant as well, even. So it'd be nice to do a few other things. Maybe my change to look at some of these artisans, even. Just pepper a few of them with some of the um, inverted skins. The inverted ones can look quite cool. Oh, we actually have old residents as well. Ooh, money. That would look pretty good, I think. All right. That's going to have to be it for this episode. Thank you very much for watching. And I'll see you in the next one. Hey everyone, thank you so much for watching the video. Consider liking it if you enjoyed it, subscribe for more, and if you want to support even further, consider becoming a channel member. Channel members get early access to my videos ad-free, and also access to my Discord, where we've just set up a new Valheim and Satisfactory server for people to play on. Hopefully we can grow a community and add more games and perks in the future. Either way, I appreciate people just watching this far into the video. Thank you.